your name, Perkis. Is this a call me by your name moment? It is, totally. <laughs> You're Timothy. I wish. Um, <laughs> Army Hammer's too tall. It's really annoying. No, he's not. Anyway, hi, I'm Nate. I'm Jeremiah. Hi, my domain. We're hanging out in our library, which sounds very fancy. But we're not fancy. <laughs> Right, so how has love changed for the both of you since having children and becoming parents? I mean, everything changes the second you have kids, which is so cliche to say, but it's so true. I think that every experience kind of takes on its a whole new meaning because you're seeing it through the eyes of your kids, which is just surreal to watch. And I remember when Poppy was a baby, we used to walk to the parks all the time and we would be outside the whole family just on our backs looking at the sky and the trees rustling and everything. I think it reconnects you to everything that really matters. Nature, yourself, um, your insecurities, your vulnerability, your, your questions you have about yourself as a person. You see it mirrored back to you every moment, especially as the kids get older. What is the one thing that you've taught each other about love? God, I teach them things about love every day. <laughs> I'm a real, I'm a teacher. <laughs> You're a sage. I am, I love You really sage. are. It's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Jeremiah said once to me when we were arguing about something as couples do, and he said to me after we had resolved it, because we definitely talk through everything in this house, we're like... You're welcome. I know, oh my God. It's like high lesbian drama I'm all like, the time. It's interesting, sit down, yeah, let's talk let's about talk, it. He's like, I really want to know the source of that feeling, and yes. I'm like, God, all Let's right. go back. Jer said to my sister, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you have going for you or how dynamic you can be or how much you have going on in life that's positive. It's really hard to find somebody who can stand you at the end of the day. And I think yeah. that that's such a brilliant way of thinking it through because we all walk around with like this ego at some level of like, I'm this, I'm that. The bottom line is at the end of the day when all the noise is gone and it's just the two of you and you're staring at one another and you know that you have made a decision to stay in love, to stay together, to work through whatever you need to work through, to stay in love is a decision. What are your hopes for your daughter and your son for their future? The best gift that we can give our daughter is and the son. and son is the opportunity to grow up with no expectations from us. They don't need to be a rocket scientist. They don't need to do anything but be kind. We want to raise them to be empathetic. We want them to understand what's going on outside of this house and never and, leave. And no, you My want them to never leave. I'm ready. Never leave. Like, go for it. <laughs> Boarding school in Switzerland. Hit it. I'm ready to um, move to Switzerland. No, I but can go I, with you know, See ya. Um, <laughs> no, but the by the time Poppy is. 15, you're gonna be like, what's that school you've been talking about? I'm gonna look so old. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be so old. I know, but anyway, I'm gonna look your age. Babe, that's the rudest thing. You just anyway, said it. Like, what's not, this is like, what's happening? <laughs> he, he, Jeremiah thinks I have like, I guess this is good. <gasps> this Jer is right, yeah. thinks I have a really bad picker. Worst like, friend picker. Friends, the worst, worst friend, friend picker. picker. We've been at events and we've left and Nate was, has said to me when we got in the car, did you have the best time? It was the <laughs> coolest night of my life. I was like, I actually feel dead inside. I can never be around He's these like, people like He's like, I hate again. everybody. We're never We're going moving. back. I can't live here. <laughs> hey, look, a magical dog something. appeared. Tucker's here for the shoot. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. What are some of the things that life has taught you so far? The best thing that I've learned is to not to take it all too seriously because I get in my head and I get very um, intense and deep and mm -hmm. I'm very internal and we have so much fun. You know, our life is fun. Um, we laugh constantly. We get to create beautiful things. We love our job, which is su such a gift. And we have our family, which we never still thought was possible. So I think I, my biggest lesson has been just to have fun with it, you know, enjoy it as much as possible. The best part of raising kids is that home has always been a place for the two of us, but has now morphed into these four people. Mm -hmm. It's, we could be in the middle of the, the worst place ever, and the four of us are there and it feels like home. Yeah. So I think that's a really powerful thing in talking about love and the evolution, how it continues to morph and change. And you know, our daughter's three now and she's got opinions and she says something and the other day she rolled her eyes at me and I was like, what's happening? And he's cracking up behind her back. <laughs> I can't and take I'm it, like, I have to leave the room. You know, I, it's, I think like, it's so funny. But that's the fun thing is that there's no ego in it with us. So it's like, I'm like, you know, I invented that eye roll, okay? So <laughs> you gotta get rid of it. But then we are laughing about it later, you know? It's these little people that we get the opportunity to raise and to kind of 
keep them safe for as long as possible, and um, we're loving it. He put her in a chair, Poppy, um, for a timeout, and she marched from down the hallway <laughs> into the chair like this. I was like, I wish you I was like, this would. is so great. We have a house full of crazy people. Yeah. Our kids are Aries. Both kids He's are Aries. They're both Aries? They're yeah. both Aries. Wow. And then there's me, and then there's this guy. Jeremiah's into ceremony at home. Lighting candles and having music on and, and the lighting and, and everything. He sets the house several times a day. He sets the tone of the home. The energy. The I maintain and, the energy of the house. And I maintain, like, what's in the junk drawer because that gives me, like, <laughs> great pleasure to have our keys all, like, in the same little container next to the pens, next to everything else. I can't leave a room when it's, like, messy. Like, I, I, I knew when we started, yes, you can. Our friend Libby taught... Um, our daughter when she was a baby to call me old daddy, which was great. And then at, to get Libby and Jeremiah back for that. I don't know how I got roped Because you it. enjoyed it, visibly. So Guilty Poppy, Poppy <laughs> I said to Poppy then, if I'm old daddy, that's messy daddy. Oh. And there's a video of her at like one and a half or two in his closet. And I was like, what's his name? And she's like, messy daddy. How is Poppy taken to being an older sister? She's been nurturing since the day she was born. I mean, she's exactly who she was when she came out. You know this, I'm sure. Like, they come out, that little presence. Mm -hmm. And um, she's super sweet, and I love having her energy in this house. He's gonna be so good, because he's gonna push her and challenge her, and, um, but she's so good. She's just such a good girl, and she takes care of him. And when he was first, born, she wasn't that interested in him because he didn't do anything. He was just a blob. And I think <laughs> when we tried to get her excited about having a baby brother, she like pictured him playing. But I think she used to ask us every day, when's him going to be big? Yeah, when's he going to be When's bigger, him going to be big? And then the other day, um, she was playing on her swing set. And there's this platform. And then above it is this little area. And she came and got me. And she was in like full like head to toe princess regalia, like white gloves and Always. Like, plastic crown. And she said, Dad, can you go get Aki? Because I'm going to play the princess. And I want you to put him on the ground under my swing set. And he can play the troll. And I think that really sums it up. I mean, it's be a lifetime of playing the troll for yeah, her. Yeah, he's going to be a troll for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. <laughs>